today's technical corner, I'm joined by Luke of ZCC Cutting Tools, and we're going to be talking about indexable carbide, but indexable carbide with a difference. Welcome, Luke. So, obviously, tell us about the range and then what makes this carbide so different. Okay, thanks, Joe. Uh, so, this is our YBS grade. Um, we have it throughout our whole range from indexable milling all the way through to ISO turning. Um, on the table here, we've got our new Q QH system, QCH system. Um, it comes from a range of ABKT inserts through to high feed um, with a solid carbide shank. It's for your hard to reach areas, so you've, you've got the dampening, which improves the machinability. Um, through to 90 degree shoulder milling tools, uh, face milling with 16 edges, and the FMA 11 with um, face milling tool with eight edges. And then we go on to the indexable drilling, uh, so it's our new new indexable drill. Uh, we've had some really good uh, results with this. It look very stable. Um, then you've got your parting and grooving and ISO turning. So, uh, so in terms of the YBS, what, what, what's in the mix that makes it different? Obviously, you probably don't want to tell us the chemistry, but what makes it so different? So we've got a new additive in the carbide. That means we can perform a lot more stabler under higher thermal conditions. Um, when, when, when we look at a turning application, uh, you've got the ISO scale of carbide. Um, so how, how does this you know, change that? So it gives us the performance of a harder grey, so maybe a S10, mm -hmm. but then the, the toughness of like an S35. So we can perform under a lot better cutting conditions, a lot higher surface feed and feed, but then we get the tool wear of a tougher grade. So arguably, instead of having, if you're doing a lot of work, you may have a, a roughing grade and a finishing grade. Arguably, you don't need that. Yes, uh, specifically with the ISO turning, with the geometry as well. It's a very positive, sharp geometry, so we can, we can get a good surface finish with that as well, and also mm -hmm. the benefits with the roughing. So you could use an S10 to go through some skin or intermittent cutting? Yeah, that's right. So it's wow, good okay. for roughing and finishing. And what, what the, obviously, you in cut there, how about milling? What's the, what are the differences there? So with the milling, we've got very good thermal stability, so it gives us a lot better tool life than some of the harder to machine materials like ink canals, your hastaloids, mm -hmm. and be better cutting conditions so we can push the tool a lot harder. And, uh, and, and, that, and that's we hear a lot of, we all know roughly what we can run on say ink canal. How, how, would, that, how would this change the industry? Is, is it a significant step in tool life and, um, and, and data? So say ink canal 718, we're probably, if we were to say at 35 to 40, we were looking at doubling, tripling the tool life of our existing grades that we use for ink canal. Wow, okay. And nothing, you don't change anything else in the machining process. Is a standard insert fits in any, in any of your holders? Yeah, just ISO insert straight in, straight swap. So this is obviously new technology. How does that affect the cost? So the price is obviously a little bit more expensive, but then the, the performance will outweigh that. So the price performance ratio is really good. Oh, brilliant. Okay. So there we have it. If you want to learn more about this product and your machining difficult to machine materials, get in touch with the guys at ZCC. Thank you for watching.